Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane, Darren Lockyer being assisted off the park by one of the trainers together with the doctor, Nathan Gibbs. Following a very heavy tackle by the Iro brothers, Jason Smith is going on. And Alfie Langer is kicking for touch. He didn't have a recognised goal kicker to take a shot at goal. It may prove to be fortuitous the way they've gone. Played there by Thorne, swept by Smith, back for Webke. Webke's been patched up and he's back in the action. Some spiteful stuff. Some roughhouse tactics in this test match. Talis out wide. Slapped across the face as he's pulled down by McCracken and Wicky. Now Menzies. 10 metre line, New Zealand's end. Smith is the dummy half. Langer on the right. Puts a little kick in again. Walters will score. Kevin Walters. Referee Russell Smith will have a look at it on the video. But the combination of Langer and Walters looks like it's worked again. Well, I think the referee will look for two things here. Firstly, as to whether Kevin Walters is onside and to whether he gets the ball down. Now, Walters, from that reaction, you would think doesn't believe has got the try. It's a planned move. Very, very close to pick it up from there, but I'm more concerned about whether he actually gets down with pressure on the football. I don't think he does. Even from that bad angle, this will show it up perfectly. No, no try. If you could read the lips of Kevin Walters, then you would have known there was no try waiting and the video ref has taken an age to give up that uh, sign no try Kevin Walters was never excited about it he was very disappointed Sean Hoppy and just with Darren Lockyer being off Tim Brash has moved back to fullback and Ben Eikens come on onto the left wing Vangana just outside his own 30 metre line now Pongia hitting the attack back in behind the play of the ball, looking for the markers to be missing in action. Iru, halfway line. We seemingly have been down there into the park for a long time. Tony Iro spun down by Kevin Walters. Now Ridge. A couple of the Kiwis that are chasing were in front of the kicker. But he's run the 10 metres anyway, Brashat. He'll be trying his damnedest to make hay while the sun shines back at fullback, Tim Brashat. And I can tackle 26 metres out. Jason Smith with no Andrew Johns on the field slots into the dummy half roll. I'm not quite sure whether that will mean if there's a scrum, he'll go to hooker. But the lock forward certainly going in the play the ball area. Talis straight up the centre and Russell Smith is on top of it and McCracken was waiting for him and the verbal continues Talis got McCracken earlier with a tackle that we thought should have brought a penalty and even probably more and McCracken Ooh. has been out there like a bounty hunter well here's a, a high tackle from Quentin Pongia I think penalty will be sufficient although we shouldn't say anything until I've seen it again but he hung the arm out. The Australians have reacted. As Paul pointed out, let's hope that Russell Smith does keep this in check. You've got the initial one. I've come in after the Australian bloke. Had a bit of a push, but number in the meantime, Andrew Johns gets back, back onto the paddock. And Jason Smith is off. Okay. We're getting around the neck area. I don't care whether the players are ducking or what. You've got to make sure that you hit safely. Chest and below. Let's get him down. Pongia doesn't need any more blemishes on his record. It already reads pretty badly. Yeah, that's just more careless than anything else. So wasn't too much intent in it. Didn't do any damage, although that shouldn't be the criteria behind it. But I think the penalty was certainly sufficient. Thorn, 18 metres away from the Kiwi line in a match that has been trialless. And he's lost it. 
No, he's given the penalty. Langer. Menzies. Oh, hit hard by Wiki. Jolting tackle. Brasher. 15 away from the line now. Johns. Langer. Walters. Cuts Thorne out and finds Darren Smith. 23 tries this year in club football. 10 metres from the line. Now Kearns. Hasn't he carried that Melbourne storm wonderfully this year? Now Langer. Looking inside. Tallis will score. Gordon Tallis is over to score the first try of the test match. Well, he's been in the centre of everything. And Gordon Tallis has picked up the rich reward of putting it over the line. Yeah, the inside ball here from Alan Langer just caught some tiring New Zealand defence. It comes to the left. They've got good numbers there. As we freeze it there, you can see this player put back onto his heels. The New Zealand defence coming across on the inside a little bit slow as the pass finds its mark. The fact that the New Zealand defender was still in Matthew Ridge allowed Gordon Tallis to slide on the outside and storm his way across. Alan Langer through the little dummy, straightened up, found Tallis, and Matthew Ridge unable to keep the second row from crossing the line. Good stuff there by the Broncos combination. Andrew Johns lines up the kick. And Andrew Johns deputising for Darren Lockyer converts Gordon's try and takes Australia now to an 8-0 lead with 13 to go in the first half. Well, we've seen the cloud build dramatically, but the rain...